Alright, today we're going to talk about saving history and preserving history. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. Alright, first thing we're talking about is saving history. In my mind, I saved history right there when I found this cannonball uh, not long ago. Now, some people might differ. Some people might say we're destroying history because we took it off the bottom. That thing there is doing nothing but rusting away and, and going to be nothing over years to come. Uh, but it's not going to be now because we're going to preserve it. In my mind, when you take something out, I'm going to have thousands of people actually talking about this relic, looking at it, uh, looking it up, what it's all about, um, sharing it. Thousands of people, to me, that's saving history. Leaving it on the bottom is not saving history. So, let's talk about it right now. We got it up, but we do want to preserve it. I mean, it's nice because everybody's going to look at it, talk about it and all, but we want to keep it for future generations to be able to talk about and see. Now, this shell, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This is one I found before, and I preserved it. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. And I, can, I show it to people all the time. People talk about it. it. It's a good relic there to discuss and explain how everything works which I've seen in some of my previous videos. And you might look at this and say, oh, those balls are all different sizes in there. Those balls are not different sizes. They're all the same size. They're just cut out at different places. That's the end of this ball. You know, it's the same. they're all the same size. They just cut, when they're cut, you might have a little piece. That's the end of a whole ball. You can see they're all the same size. But if you cut through it, you'll cut through the center of some, the edge of some, and so forth. So they're all the same size. Some people get confused about that. Now, this particular ball, you saw me when I found it. I had the whole ball, and the other three pieces were right here. And my theory is this. You know, this ball has one ounce of powder in it. And what I think happened on this ball is uh, it was, they had punched it, and it was coming in. And it should have blown up in whatever it was, two, three seconds. But it, it hit the water, and it was a little slow, and it blew underwater, and just, boom, it kind of just separated. And then it just concreted together. Is what I'm thinking happened on this one because um, that's the only thing I can figure. It, one ounce of powder does not, it's not designed to kind of blow shrapnel everywhere. It's designed to just separate. You can see it's not a whole lot of room for powder in here right here. It's just a little bit of powder in it. I think it was just enough powder in it just to kind of crack it open and then it sealed it, the concretion you saw around it when I found it was there. Now, what we're going to do now, I've, I've kind of um, been thinking about how I want to preserve this. One, if you see this matrix inside here, see that hard matrix? That's what you're seeing in here on the end right here. And if you take one of these balls out, you can see it in there. But I can't preserve that old matrix in there. It is just pretty much destroyed. It's still it's still held together in here. If you look close, the balls are still solid in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all these balls out, but I'm going to have to kind of chip it out somehow. I don't want to hurt the balls. See, see that one just came out? It's, they're not in there really, really tight, but not sure how... How hard they are going to be. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. And that's pretty tough in there. But you can feel, I can feel the grit in it. Which is that right there. Is what I'm feeling in this ball right here. Which is kind of cool really. But I'm going to work slowly. See there it goes. There they popped out right there just by hand. So I'm not hurting anything right there. Getting these balls out by hand like this. Now some of the balls were already out. And let me show you what I did with the balls that were already loose. All right, these balls here were already loose, so I went ahead and ran them through my tumbler, and they cleaned up beautifully. And they're going to look nice uh, inside that thing. Some of them got some real surface, probably some steel that was on them. These are lead balls, so they won't rust. Once you get them out, they're fine. Now, I do see this or some, and what I'm going to do is try, once we get everything out and uh, start putting them back in, after everything's um, done, the electrolysis, I'm going to show you in just a second. Uh, we'll come back and we'll put them balls back in there, and we'll actually try to line up some of these ones where they're drilled. You know, what they do, see that hole, see how that's drilled right there? When they put them in here, they drill a hole in it, and some of these, the balls will have that little circle mark on them. So we'll try to put it back in there so they match up at some point in time once we get everything done. It's going to be a while doing this, so. What I'm going to show you now is how I would go about doing the electrolysis on this ball. Number one thing, it does have the fuse in it right here, but these fuses do have zinc in them. So what I'll probably do is probably keep it up like that and keep the fuse just above the water right here and then do the electrolysis. What we'll want to do first is find a spot on here where we can attach an uh, electrode. And what I do is I use a magnet and uh, clean a little spot off and the magnet holds it to it. 
but I have it so the electrode does not touch the magnet right here. And I'm going to show you that right now. Alright, step one. Here is my magnet. It's got a hole through the center. And what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and we're going to just seal this magnet up with this tape right here. A little duct tape here. We'll seal it up. And then we're going to cut this end off right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an electrode. Uh, let me see if I got it right here. See this wire right here. And what we'll do is we're going to push it right down through the center of this right here. And come out the other side. Let's see if we can do it. I'm trying to hold it with one hand and do it, so it's kind of tough here. All right, come out this side right here. Let me hold this with my knees. Uh, hopefully we'll get it here. Hold tight here. Okay, here we go. All right, what we're going to do is push it all the way through. Okay, let me straighten up so it goes through here. Okay, there as you can see it coming through here. See it came out right there. Then we're going to bend it over like that. So that's the electrode right there we want to touch the metal. And this will de we'll clean a spot off and bam, that thing's going to hold right to it. You can see it holding right to it right there with the uh, magnet. It's going to hold my... I'll, I'll adjust it so it's make sure it's touching. But the magnet will hold it on there on a nice clean spot. And that will be our negative electrode going to the cannonball to put in electrolysis. Alright, stay tuned because what we're going to do is get some water in this pan right here. We're going to use this right here. I've used this before. We got a just an old piece of metal here. I kind of belt in it trying to get some uh, so there's exposure there. I got my negative probe right here. I got this just holding it so it doesn't fall over and touch it. We have a uh, little transformer. It's a 12 volt transformer just like you use to charge uh, any kind of little small stuff around the house uh, whether it's a, a, a drill or a cell phone or whatever. Um, anyway, that's, that's all I use right there, and I just put the electrodes on it. This will end up going to the negative electrode. We're going to get some water in here and get it started. Uh, what you want to do is put about a, a tablespoon of um, so, uh, a baking soda uh, per gallon of water in this uh, pan. So it's probably going to hold, I'm just guessing, two, uh, two gallons or three gallons. I'll put probably three tablespoons of baking soda. And what that does, that gives it a little bit of um, con conductivity. If you might not know this, but really pure water is an insulator. It will not conduct electricity. But there's no such thing as pure water. And there's always some kind of dissolved minerals in our water. And it will shock you if you put electricity one in. You will get shocked. So uh, technically you probably could go in here and do a, a resistance check to see how much uh, conductivity water had to start with maybe. But we're not going to get that technical. So what we're going to do is we're going to low and slow. We'll do a low voltage, very slow and let it uh, do the electrolysis over time versus trying to uh, put a real high voltage, high amperage, you know, we're not going to do that. Uh, they all, all the guys that are professional that do it all the time tell me low and slow is where you want to go. So, let me get some water in this thing and we'll get it set up and see if we can get this thing starting on the electrolysis. Stay tuned. Alright, first thing I want to do is try to get these balls out of here. So let's see if we can't just see how easy they're going to pop out here. Some of these, see they're going to pop out pretty easy, some of them. Some of them are going to be a little harder probably. Let's try to get the easy ones out first. We don't want to try to damage any things if we can help it. See how they're coming out like that right there. Alright, some of them are popping out. That's that matrix that they put in to hold it all together. Man, they're tough though. You can see this matrix getting really tough a little harder down here. There might be some trouble once we get in here a little bit maybe. Alright, we're trying to get it out. It's tough. See, I got some. Over time, these things have done this over time here. So, all right, there's a piece coming out right there. Check it out. There they come. There they come. Once I get started in here, it might not be too bad. There we go. Got a couple more out. Wow, it's gonna get tough down there. I can see it. Some of this is pretty easy though. All right, there we go. Two more out. I don't know how many is actually in one of these shells, but. It's right many in here. That's cleaning up nice. That's going to be nice. There it comes. Once I get underneath though, it usually pops out pretty good here. It has been anyway. Getting down into some really, really tough stuff in here now. This is that matrix right there that they, that they poured in there when they put the balls in here. They kind of hold them in a position when they drill the hole to put the powder in. I don't care about this stuff here. I'm, I'm not, I can't hurt that. So the more I can knock that out around it and preserve it, I think is what we want to do. So I'll try to knock this stuff out that's around it. And then the ball should pop out. There we go. Look at that. That came out nice right there. Right there at the bottom. 
Okay, well, I ain't got too much more to do. I still want to try to get this the matrix out before I try to get the ball out. Try to loosen this matrix up in the bottom here. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, stay tuned. We'll get there. It's coming, slowly but surely. That's the matrix right there. That's all matrix right there. Oh, there's one can. Okay, let's see if we can get this underneath this and pop this up. There it goes. Only a few left here. Get underneath that matrix, just go eat in the matrix. Get that up. And we got, there's matrix, all matrix right there. Hey, take a... You see, then that's the bottom of the fuse right there. Alright, we're getting there. Get that matrix up right there that's holding it in. Get that matrix up on the side right there. There it goes! And it's out. All the balls are now out of the ball. I'm going to clean it up, wash it up, and put a little sand in this little spot with my thing can attach to it right there. And we'll be good to go and put it in electrolysis. I'm going to let the electrolysis loosen this up. I'm not going to try to mess with that much. I think that should come loose once we get electrolysis going on it. All right, let's clean it up. All right, after just a few minutes, you can see the bubbles coming up right there around this entire ball. Hopefully you can see that really good. And it's starting to rain a little bit out here, but see the, see the bubbles right here on the edge? This was nothing here, and the bubbles come up right there. I kind of reposition it so it kind of surrounds the ball a little bit. Of course, it, um, the closer you get to it, the, the more uh, voltage will go through it. But this is a good distance right here, and we'll keep it like this for a while. But you can see the bubbles coming up all around it right there. Let me hold that here real close so you can see it. Hopefully you can see that right there. Now, one thing is, uh, there's not a whole lot of danger here. If you do use stainless steel, that can create some um, uh, toxins in the water. But steel won't. But the only other thing you have to think about, if you really get this thing really bubbling, I, I use it so slow, it probably won't have a problem. But it, the bubbles have, um, you're breaking down H2O, so you're getting hydrogen and oxygen uh, breaking down here. So one of the bubbles will be hydrogen bubbles, and one will be oxygen bubbles. And I, hydrogen is flammable. If you had enough, in a small, small area, it could, it could cause a problem. Most likely it won't, but just be careful about that if you're doing electrolysis. And you got the bubbles coming up really a lot. You could have some issues there. These are so slow, I probably would never. It, it'll dissipate before it even gets a chance to get anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's gonna probably do it for now. We're gonna. I'm gonna get this in the garage, set it up, and uh, let it go to work for a while. So it's pretty cool though. I like watching it. Look at that. That's cool right there. It's it's working really good. You can see the bubbles very evenly all the way around coming up. They're coming up all the way around that ball. So. We got it working. I like it. It's working good, too. All right, now we're going to take this right here. These are the balls. I'm going to run these through my tumbler, and maybe I'll go ahead and get that started so you can kind of see that. I think the tumbler will actually take all that matrix off of them really good. It did it really well on those, so we'll go ahead and run these through the tumbler. I actually, maybe, we, well, we we'll probably could count up and see how many was actually in the ball, too. Right, many of them, though. Definitely a lot of them. All right, quick little update. Once I did run the balls through my um, tumbler using the stainless steel shot, and here they clean right up. Not a problem at all. Maybe that one, no, that might be spew on that one. But if they're 90%, 99% clean right now. And uh, these are the ones I cleaned before, and they're nice and, nice and clean. So they're going to look good going back in the shell in their original condition now. We just will have to maybe go through and find where all the uh, drill marks are. And maybe try to line up some of these drill marks uh, in the shell when we put them back together so it shows uh, how, how it was actually drilled out. Maybe do half the shell with the drill mark. And then I'm thinking about maybe sealing it either with some um, epoxy where we'll lock it in there and you can see the shells in there like I did the, my original shell. Or, um, or maybe some uh, wax. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But we'll figure that out later. But I just want to show that 
Actually, I had about 55 uh, balls in, it, in that one shell. So far, I think I got a couple more on that small piece I have not cleaned off yet. So it'll probably be over 60 balls in that, in that one shell. It's amazing to get that many in one shell. But anyway, I just want to give a little quick update of how the balls came out in the tumbler. All right, thanks. But anyway, I think we got that going. We're saving and preserving history right here, buddy. I'm telling you, we're doing it. Otherwise, that thing will be rusting out on the, on, the, um, on the floor of the river there. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along on this little adventure. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment, blow, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along.